Hey world, how you doing? Hey, uh, just bought a vacuum pump. Um, was tired of my 35 pound Robin Air. Works excellent. I'll give you Robin Air's awesome vacuum pump. The uh, 6 CFM, the uh, 15101A or B or something like that's the number on the model number on it. Excellent vacuum pump. You can let them run all night long. You can run them for a week long and they'll still they do awesome. They last for many years. They'll last a generation. You can hand it down to your kids. They're so good. Anyways, um, 35 pounds Robin Air. This one is one of the lightest, if not the lightest vacuum pump uh, around. Uh, I searched high and low, and I think the only thing that may be close to this is... Um, the battery powered uh, ones that are the Navac, I believe, makes it. The, uh, but, anyways, this one right here, um, it's a uh, 2 CFM, like the little battery powered one. So, this is 115 volt. Um, this is only one stage, so I think it only goes down to like rated to 100 microns, but 100 microns is better than what anything we needed to do so and I'm just working on a little stuff you know most of the time 90% of my time is if I need something bigger I'll pull out the Robin Air you know but for puffing up on the roofs you know um, I'm over 60 now so it's like I'm just trying to lighten the load you know and try it out see how it goes so um, let's unbox it have a look let me open this box uh, come on, let me see if I can do this on camera. Uh, oh, I prefer to do it off camera. Give me a second. Let me get back to you. Okay, get the box opened up. Oh, the destructions. Okay, operation manual. I'll read that in a minute. I do read stuff. Don't read it word for word, but I peruse it. You know, just look it over real good. Um, hey, they give you a vacuum pump oil. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Clear and clean. Bet you all it is is mineral oil. Bet you money. Just uh, mineral oil that you, yeah, that you buy in the supermarket. Okay. Um, all right, let me pull this thing out of the box. Okay. Okay, here we go. Just pull that out of the box. Band caps, get rid of those. Okay. Nice little thing. Cute as hell, man. This thing is fucking cute. Check this thing out. Hopefully getting, getting good vibes off of this. Pretty cool. Hey, let me know in the comments if any of you guys own one of these. Um, um, feels like it's built. CPS, so I mean it's commercial. Um, you know they make our, you know all our CPS product stuff. So, so uh, out of Florida. <laughs> Excuse me. Hang on. <coughs> Okay, well, I thought that this was going to be like mineral oil, but um, it's similar, but it smells like China, man. It smells like like a, like a machine oil, like, in a, like you would use for like a cutting oil you would use in a machine shop, you know, like on a big CNC machine or something. That's what it smells like. It smells nasty. Yeah, I'm going to just use this oil for testing but I'm gonna put some of that black gold the uh, I think it's Robin Air makes it the black gold or somebody makes the black gold anyways this, uh, premium vacuum pump oil uh, extremely high quality it's really hydrated battle for use in pumps made by most manufacturers so what's that Okay. 
command is the vacuum pull up of a change of three juice goes around the light of a pop. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put that in there. <clears throat> Mineral oil. You can see why I say is this is the stuff you get in Target for using uh use it for all kinds of different stuff. Um You can use this for uh, oiling wood, um, your wood cabinets, your wood knives, your uh, handles on like wood knives in the kitchen. That's what uh, one of my old roommates used to soak his uh, wood cutting knives. It's uh, a good all around uh, oil to have around. Or oh, use it on door hinges, whatever. Uh, it's got a bit of a heavy body to it, so it doesn't wash away. Um, it's good for also swamp coolers. I use it on swamp coolers. The bearings, the brass bearings on a swamp cooler, they are mineral oil impregnated uh, bronze bearing. And so uh, you can use mineral oil on them. And that's what they use when they manufacture them. So, um, yeah, anyway, so you can see why I thought it was real close. Actually, the mineral oil you can actually drink this stuff, it's like a laxative. Like, um, that stuff's clean. Um, this stuff definitely you would not drink. Uh, but, anyways, um, there's a VPC. It says, uh, reading this real quick here, uh, this is a VPC, it's the uh, model. What do we got here? Um, Okay, the VPC 2SU. So single stage, 115 volt, 250 watts. So amps times volts is watts. It's only a couple of amps, a little over two amps. That's nice. Not like it really matters. Um, but wow, that's cool. You could run that off a little inverter. You could run this. Anyways, um, I'm gonna focus one. Okay, so it says. Okay, come on, focus. All right, VPC two is right here, fifth of a horse. So that's nine point three pounds versus my uh, thirty-five pound Robin Air. That's why I got this. It's over three times lighter. That's huge, man. Um, that was 100 microns, 9 ounces of oil, um, 2 CFM. It's got uh, two fittings on here too. It's got a uh, quarter inch and a half inch. Get... Well, that ain't no... Oh, man. Oh, it's got a freaking... Oh man, it's got what automotive fitting on there. That's wild. Never seen that before. That's not a half inch. That's a that's an automotive crazy fitting. I don't have those. This is regular quarter inch one. Okay, that's our uh, regular quarter inch one we use for our stuff. Okay, Got a nice little cap O ring on it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some oil in this. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna put it on the scale too, and we'll see what it uh, see what it really weighs. Interested to see, but uh, let me put some oil in this little baby, and uh, yeah, okay, that's no gas ballast, so. Okay, um, so, tension, no oil, morning without oil. Okay, so let's, sure is cute looking though, man, it looks, it looks kind of like good quality. Let's see, I bet you this plug's got a uh, little o-ring in it too, under there. It's cool. It's, it's 
doesn't feel light, doesn't feel like crap. Um, it feels like it's kind of quality made, man. It does not feel like plastic junk. Handles a little, handle feels pretty, pretty weak though. Um, how you could make a slight improvement and make it a teeny bit heavier, but to make this handle aluminum, this would be a cool upgrade. Because I can see that handle breaking real easily. That's the only upgrade I'm going to make to this. I'm going to make a handle. Aluminum handle. I'll get a piece of... Uh, yeah. Because that's going to bust. I can see that happening that easily. But you could hoist it up. And the aluminum handle I'll make will have a little a hook hole. for hoisting it up on the roof. This thing almost might fit in a bucket. Okay, let me get some oil in this. Okay. Takes nine ounces of oil or 250 milliliters. That's what this bottle says. Um, 250 ml. Um, the instructions say it takes... 200 and where is it right here? Nine ounces, 250 ml. So that's for that. Take the whole bottle so you can actually just fill that bottle up and keep a little spare. You just dump the whole thing in. You don't have to, no muss, no fuss. Um, so uh, that's what it looks like when it's full of oil. A little oil with your dip your finger in the hole. It's a big hole. Dip your finger in the hole. Um, lubricate the O-ring. The lid. Throw a little oil on it. On the threads. And uh, that's pretty nice. And a little. You'd think it would say CPS on the top of that. Oh, it says oil. That's, that's, that's cool. Okay. I wonder where the vent is. I have to look in the book. I don't know where it is. Let's have a look in the book here and see where it says we got, where the air comes out. So we got oil exhaust refill. Okay, so it looks like exhaust comes out of the cap must come under there. Oh, yeah, that's in. Okay, so exhaust cap. Okay. That port's fan inlet. So the fan inlet's here. That's cool. Okay, rubber base. Yep. Okay, what else is this? Routine maintenance. Uh, change the oil every 50 hours. Hmm. Or should the pump oil is warmed up. That's, I always like, I've always changed the oil. After I do a vacuum, that's when I do uh, my oil changes. After you do the vacuum job, you uh, put it on your truck before you put it away and do an oil change. That way the oil comes out real fast. It's all been hot and dirty and everything flows out real worked out real well for me for years 40 years now I think uh, it's 80s 81 it's 80 90 yeah it's 40 years um, and you can just return the oil to uh, like uh, uh, Craigans or something like that O'Reilly's you know Okay. So, uh, weigh this thing up. See what it actually weighs. Okay. Uh, CPS products, contact information, warranty information. It says one year. Here somewhere. One year from the date of purchase. CPS locations. 
headquarters in Florida, Canada. Um, what the heck? Belgium, Australia. Oh, wow. CPS is bigger than I thought they were. And then you got, uh, I think, I guess this is, uh, well, that's going to be French, I'm very, pretty thinking. Where is that? Yeah, it's French. And you got Spanish and I'm not even sure of the rest. I don't know. German. Yeah. French. Okay. okay. Alright, uh, let's weigh this thing up. Okay, guys. So, I think they're lion sack of potatoes. CPS says this thing is supposed to weigh 9.3 pounds. Okay, right there. Or 4.2 kilos. They are lion sacks of potatoes. 10.7 pounds there, buddy. That's just the vacuum pump. Um... And if you guys want an example, okay, let me pull it off. It's zeroed. Okay, I'm off by half of an ounce. This thing's exactly the width of a scale, width-wise. Um, and it's only like half the width from top to bottom of the scale. But 10 pounds, 8 ounces. Huh. Uh, that's not cool so anyway she let me show you uh, if I put it on the scale if you guys got the scale there's a scale and you can see it's not even the full width of the scale it's only there's the rest of the scale it's only half of the width of the scale so this thing's pretty tiny okay I figured that I almost 10 pounds 8 ounces so 10 and a half pounds exactly still three times lighter than my other pump um, and if you're wondering how long the cord is, I would say, um, seven feet. It's a foot every, this thing here. So six or seven foot long, pretty good long cord. Um, so let me start this thing up. See what it sounds like. See what kind of vacuum. I'm going to hook up my micron gauge to it. We'll see what, what kind of vacuum it pulls. Okay, um, all right, so got the vacuum pump here. Um, I ran it uh, just by itself. Uh, it's like it says in the book. You run it for five seconds, take your finger off, take the cap off, run it for five seconds, put the cap back on, run it, check the oil level. We're good, I checked the cap, make sure it's tight. Backed it off, it feels like it's got an O-ring in it. I backed off a little bit and tightened it down. So, uh, start it up. It is not loud. It, uh, it just, it's got, it feels like it's, yeah, it's a little bit of harmonics on the table, but it's just got a little bit of a buzz to it. it sounds kind of like a buzzing contactor. If you push down on it, it's, I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like anything's loose. It's just, anyways. So, uh, it's got uh, yellow hose hooked up to it, cap tight, a good breeze coming off of it, that's for sure. Wherever the breeze is coming out of here, yeah, so, and we've got yeah, good air uh, coming across, blowing across the heat sink on that. Yeah, and we got good air blowing, air must be coming in the back, yeah, coming in the back and blows along the side. I keep the heat sink, the pump cool. I noticed my Robin air pump. And you can fry eggs on it after it's been running. I guess it boils out the water out of the pump. Anyways, uh, it's on level. Um, just got my micron gauge hooked up to it. I haven't turned anything on, open any gauges. Just hooked it up to the manifold, yellow hose, going to the center of the manifold. If you evacuate, I hook my blue hose up to the um, micron gauge. The red one's just sitting here, it's a sealed end. So I can open it up. So let's uh got no valve on the pump or anything. So uh, 
Let's open up the refrigerant gauge part. A little pitch change in the pump. We'll open up the blue one. See what we get. She races down to minus 29. That's cool. Okay, and well, there's our microns. So we got okay. We got 1300 microns, 1200 already. Um, this is real time. Uh, it's just vacuuming the hoses. Um, the manifold. So only two CFM. Hmm. So, not crazy fast or anything, but 900 microns already. It's, it's got 30 hoses. You know, it's a manifold used every day and everything. So, minus 29.83 on the here. 950 microns. So, um. See if it makes any difference opening up uh, more of the manifold and opened up this refrigerant. Got a cap on that. Open up the uh, red hose. Boy, that that drops her back real quick. Some the red hose. 1400. So it's pulling on both hoses right now, and both hoses. And the uh, and the three hoses and the manifold that's pulling on right now. So the oil, needs, the whole pump needs to heat up and get going. You know, it's first run. Who knows? It's got to seat in maybe a little bit too. So that's fine. Already got thousand thousand microns. I've found sometimes pumps don't work that well, even if uh, if you don't have them hooked up to a system. Sometimes they need like volume to pull down. You know. I don't know how if these hoses are kind of leaky too or whatever. Let's see. Just closed off the high side hose connection. We got 800. Let me hook up just a hose to it, just the yellow hose. And see, what I know. Uh, Let me just do that and see, it, see what it does. Okay. I got a timer set up here. Uh, just got a red hose on here. My hoses are really old and dirty. They're probably... I have just bought a new set of hoses, so I was going to change them out anyhow. So uh, let me just do that. I don't have a solid... One of those solid little short things. I gotta get one of those little brass things um, here. But uh, let's just do this. I'm going to start to pump. See how long it takes to get down to 500 microns. So, Okay, so micron gauge is that atmospheric. Okay. Everything's off. I'll hit the pump. And we'll hit the start button here. Oops. Wow, let's stop. I got to reset. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, so, alright, 700 microns. Already. Okay, so, that's good. We're on 13 seconds. Uh, manifold's not in the picture right now, so. It's off. 
so uh, this is one hose, rubber hose, old dirty hose that's was better than my yellow one. I figured my yellow one, the uh, 550, my rubber seal looks kind of nasty on it. I was looking at it the other day. I want to replace. I got new hoses, but that one doesn't look good. So I didn't like that in this one. So I think it even might leak right here. I think I wrote down here on pin that it leaks. So or something. So yeah, that's why it wasn't a good test with that yellow hose. Um, but yeah, we got 500 microns in uh, 505. One minute, 13 seconds. We got under 500 microns. Brand new pump, so I would give the pump probably the pump needs a half hour or an hour runtime. I would think to get seated in, get a decent vacuum going out of it, get it heated up, get it working a bit, get the oil dried out. Everything's all brand new. One oil, get an oil change through it and get it cleaned up a bit. But we got a minute, two minutes, not even two minutes yet. And we're at uh, 467 microns. So. <clears throat> I've never had, there's two minutes, 400 microns. Never had just a one stage pump. Let's see what it <coughs> as long as it gets under four hundred microns, I'll be happy. I'm just happy to have a light pump. I'll have to see, they make a two-stage pump of this. Well, this was lighter, so I just... I'll have to see what the weight on the other one is. I think I might get the two-stage, so it's... Maybe it's only a pounder. Here's the manual. I get, we're coming up on three minutes. There's three minutes. 433 microns on a rubber hose. This is a, you know... Let me see how much the two-stage one of these is. And the weights. They got the weights in here. So let me... Yeah, this was the second pay, I think. There we go. We got... So I think the next one... Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Okay. So the VP4, I think... Yeah, I might get the, the VP4. VPC4S. This is the 2S. The 4S. It's only so 9.3 pounds. So that was a pound. It's a pound off. So this one they're saying is 11 pounds. So it's a couple pounds, just a couple pounds heavier. It's going to be two pounds only heavier to get. Uh, I think this one is. Uh, I think it's, what does it say the stages? Oh, uh, oh, it's only one stage too. One stage also. Okay. So I need to go to a two stage pump. There's two stage, two stage pumps. And the other drawing. There's a glare on the light. We're at 413 microns. Four minutes. Um, so, we're under 500 microns, so here we go, we're getting down there. Like I said, new pumps, got to seat in, got to get everything warmed up. I have to give it a half an hour or an hour to do its thing. Uh, just brand new pump to seat it in. But there's your two stage, so they're saying... Two stage pump and what's the CFM? I'm trying to see the CFM. So two CFM. Let 
And you get one for 12 pounds. So they got two CFM. It looks like at the bottom. Yeah, they get quite heavy, 12, 17, 22 pounds. Then they get up in the 30 pound range when you get up to uh, 8 CFM, yeah, 6 CFM. Yeah, 8, 10, and 12 CFM. And so, I I'm trying to get a pump down around 10 or, 10 or 12 pounds, you know. Uh, it's just under 15 pounds would be nice, so. I guess that was the only thing I could go for is a, a 2 CFM, but it's a 2 stage. Get down to 15 microns. There we go. 9 ounces of oil. So that was 9. Well, it's only going to be about 3 pounds heavier, 3 or 4 pounds heavier than what I got here on the table. So what do we got? Oh, we got 393. Oh, timer go off. Um, seven minutes, 393 microns. So I normally, I won't, I'll run a pump for one hour minimum anyhow on a job. I'll never, I never just do a blow and go. I'll just do it and then go take a lunch. Or whatever. I want to be fat. If I guess if I want to be fat, super fast, I can always just yank out the 6 CFM, the Robin Air. And if I'm just going to run a one hour, I'll have to see how it works out on a job. It's going to be interesting. It's definitely not slamming down 100 mi to 100 microns. I got 30 days, I think, to return this thing. I'll have to check when I got this. I've had it in my truck for about a week or two. I've been meaning to do a video. So I don't like that it's not doing 100 microns. Or at least 200. You know? Um, I return it. I think I will. Get the two stage. Just, uh, yeah, I'm not happy with 380 microns. Yeah, it says, uh, and they lied to me on the weight, too. Ten and a half pounds when it says it's only 9.3. So, that's not cool. Um, so it says that it's not even 9.3. 9.5 pounds so they're over a pound off on that even if they said without oil nine ounces of oil that's only you know half a pound of oil so uh and where does it say that it's uh forget where it oh as low as 100 microns this one will be 50 microns single stage Yeah, so I'd be happy if it would do 200 microns, but it ain't doing that. It's been running nine minutes just on a hose. So if you guys have ever wondered about these two or three CFM pumps, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to put a solid piece of I'll put a solid piece of copper in here or at least a new hose and see if uh, I'm going to run it for 10 minutes and yeah, that's all I want to run it right now 
keep running it, I guess it'll dry itself up. Maybe that oil's just really wet or something. Or the inside of the pump's wet. Who knows from manufacturing. Keep it a oil change, maybe it'll do better. Well, the oil doesn't look bad in the end, but... Or, who knows if that cap leaks. Another... I don't like plastic caps, I'd like to cap that thing off or yeah we'll see anybody got any suggestions oh, 350 microns 11 minutes so uh yeah I'd, be, I'd keep it if it had, it had done 200 microns but All right, uh, hope that was informative to you guys. Um, CPS pump. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get the 12 pound pump, the, uh, a little bit bigger, the two, uh, two stage 12 pounds. Uh, says, what does it say? I think it'll do uh, the uh, two stage pump will do uh, the light one, it'll do 15 microns. There we go. So that one should do 100 microns. 10 or 15 and 10 microns. Only a few pounds heavier. Okay, or shoot, my timer went off again. Okay. Anyways, um, okay. Let me see here. Um, damn, I gotta set my. There we go. 12 minutes, 13 minutes. We got 300 microns. 13 minutes. There we go. I'll try it with a solid hose and new hose, see if it's getting any better. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, click uh, like on the video and subscribe. Alright, take care. Bye.